we're back here at Machete Adventure and the girls are starting to get bigger. And what that means is they're gonna need more room. So we've got the coop, the coop's all good, but you know, they really need an outdoor run. I really don't want them to free range because we have predators around like hawks, such dogs. We're gonna build this uh, outdoor run, eh, kinda on the cheap, I guess. Um, you know, we're gonna repurpose some um, we took some old fencing out before we put the nice wooden posts with the barbed wire. We took out some old cyclone fence and uh, we kept the pipes. So we're going to reuse those pipes and we're going to use those as our perimeter. And then we're going to put up some, uh, some fencing and we're going to end up putting uh, a net over the top uh, to prevent uh, hawks from dive bombing in and, and taking chickens. So. Um, but this is the start of that and we're going to be driving in some posts and uh, you know getting our perimeter set up all right so for whatever reason i lost the footage of me hammering these things in so about three quarters of them i had to break the concrete off that was on them see i'm not kidding you here's some of the concrete that i popped off you can see where the pipe was laid in there so i had to take a sledgehammer and bust it off uh, from when they come out of the ground so all I did was uh, I took these posts I hammered them into the ground so uh, yeah I spaced them out equally hammered them into the ground <clears throat> and set them across from one another and then on the ends I put three so uh, let's see if you can see the row there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then there's six up there. One in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six on this side, and one in the middle here. So the plan is is to make uh, arches out of PVC pipe. So I'm taking PVC pipe and arch it up into the next pipe. So um, the posts in the middle are for putting in verticals so I can tie into the hoops down through the middle to keep them stable. So there's going to be a total of uh, two, three, four, five, six hoops. And then there's going to be the middle uh, stabilizer. <clears throat> and if I have to, I might, <coughs> I might put another pipe in the middle of the, of the run itself, but uh, we'll wait and see how that goes. Uh, that may be necessary. Um, but for now, and then the fence will go around the pipes, all the way around them. And then the net that I've got coming will string over the top of all the uh, PVC pipes, keeping hawks away. And then I'll secure that with uh, zip ties. So, uh, let's see how it goes. So we're gonna continue on with our building of our structure. Uh, this is a totally different day got kind of wrapped up in some other things but uh, this will give you an idea of what we're gonna do so as you can see I'm taking PVC pipe making a hoop and there's gonna be multiple hoops from pipe to pipe and then they'll interconnect and how we're going to build this uh, outdoor chicken run. So let's get after it.
birds to get dive bombed and so what I did is I built an outdoor run for them and it's all made out of a combination of leftover materials and PVC pipe so leftover materials would be the pipes that we took out when we put in our original wooden fence with barbed wire this was old cyclone fence posts and I repurposed them I repurposed them down here that was a plan all along from way back then to repurpose these pipes and I found a good use for them. So <clears throat> then what I did is I uh, took PVC and uh, connected them together and put a four-way, have the PVC all the way down inside the pipe and it goes up in an arc and it goes all the way over to another pipe that's directly across from it to a four-way. So what we have is arches. We have arches that are interlocked uh, with these side pieces. That gives it a lot of stability. Now, if you looked really close, you probably saw that there's a net. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but because this is uh, kind of hard to capture on camera, but I'm going to put it up against this and maybe you'll see it. So there's this netting that goes over the entire thing. And that will keep predators from being able to dive bomb my chickens. I don't want to sacrifice them. So uh, the fence is more or less just to keep the chickens in. It's not really to keep anything out other than maybe dogs. Um, it's not really made to keep snakes out or anything like that because the holes are pretty big. But it will keep out um, any kind of animals that might come around, cats, dogs, stuff like that. Um, but it, it gives them a pretty big pretty big area to, to work in and to give you an idea um, this area that we're talking about here is roughly about 25 feet long by 60 wide so that's a pretty good size I end up getting a 50 by 100 foot net to put over the entire thing and I got to finish putting in a little gate so we can come in and out of here and then I'm going to open up the end of the wall for a uh, chicken door. What do I have left to do with this outdoor run? Well, I've got to secure this net to the fence and I got to secure the fence better to the post because right now it's just kind of up there. It's not all the way secure. And I got to straighten things out, get everything kind of tightened up and uh, it'll work out pretty good. So that's uh, that's what I've got left to do with the net and the fence in my previous video i talked about these clips now these are serving serving a dual purpose just like most things i try to pick up serve more than one purpose so i use these clips to hold the pvc pipe down in the water video and i'm going to use these clips to hold the bottom of the fence down so this orange plastic fencing I have put up all the way around the outdoor run, that's gonna be held down with these. So I always try to think about, okay, if I buy something, can I use it for more than one thing? Because when you're homesteading, that's important. You have to have flexibility because you never know what you might come across. And as you can see, when putting this fence down on an even ground, a lot of times there's a gap underneath. I don't want a gap. So what I can do is I can pull this down and then put one of these clips in. Nice and tight. All right, we're back down here at the coop again. 
Um, you know, the other day I uh, I did basically about three quarters of the coop uh, as far as uh, getting the fencing tightened up, getting the stakes in the bottom of it, um, kind of putting some zip ties around the poles for the fence and zip tying the netting uh, to the poles, the overhead net that is. Um, and today we're basically just going to continue on uh, doing that. So I also want to talk about um, what we're going to do for a door here at the end of the coop um, to let the chickens out. Uh, so let's take a, a quick look at the end of the building here. Okay, so right now you can see the end of the building's kind of in a disarray. Um, we got the orange fence is just kind of laying there. We got this pipe to nowhere, which I don't think I'm actually going to need. And <clears throat> you can see the girls are watching me. Um, but we're going to come out right about in here on this end of the building. We're going to end up cutting a hole in and putting uh, a door so they can come out into this area and run around and forage for bugs and all kinds of stuff that they love. Um, so we've got a kind of a plan on what we're going to do for a door. And then right here where I'm currently walking in is where we're going to end up putting some kind of gate so that we can walk into this area and uh, <clears throat> access it in case uh, in case we need to come in here um, or if we need to kind of shag the chickens back to the coop because uh, when we first let them out here they might they might not want to go back in right away or whatever at the end of the night so um, but we'll see you know after a while they'll get used to it and uh, they'll they'll kind of see themselves back in we can close that door um, so this will be a nice area for them to be out running around in uh, there's all kinds of vegetation growing and bugs and you know lots of places to scratch and tear things up there's a nice shady area in the outdoor portion uh, underneath a citrus tree down at the end of the outdoor run and uh, i'm sure they'll get a lot of joy out of uh, going to that area um, but plenty of sun stuff for them to pick at they're gonna love it all right so what you see here is basically i have zip tied the fence to these uh, repurposed poles and there's this black netting behind it and uh, that's also kind of woven in there uh, to keep anything from uh, coming in that way and then at the bottom I purposely folded uh, some of this fencing and uh, you can see that it's pinned in really tight uh, some of this is you know every foot every two foot every five foot uh, it just kind of depends because we're on a slope hill there's this hillside um, you know the fence is not gonna sit flat anyway so <clears throat> I thought right off the rip that I was just gonna uh, basically fold down the bottom edge of the fence a little bit and then uh, put the pins in so that you can see there's a pin there put the pins in to hold that down so that this is more or less just to keep the chickens in we don't have deer here uh, so that's not a concern um, you know hawks are probably our main predator I would say hawks and dogs um, so with the fence around and the chickens have an escape route that would be back to the coop hawks will be kept at bay with this uh, netting um, so let's take a little closer look again at that netting. So you can see there's netting all the way up here. It might be hard to see on camera, but if you look. That really fine netting. That's a twisted net. It goes all the way over, all the way above. Now to give you some perspective, the height of this hoop type system that I, I built. Uh, it's about 12 feet in the air, so there's plenty of height. So if the birds wanna fly around a little bit, they can, um, but they won't be able to get out. So uh, I think that it gives plenty of head height for me too, so I'm not you know um, catching my head on any kind of netting or piping or poles. Uh, we do have one little unique area here that's kind of, a, kind of complicated, and I'm gonna have to deal with it here pretty soon. 
that is around this citrus tree. So as you can see, we have this uh, orange tree right here, and it's gonna provide some nice shade. The problem is, is trying to get this netting around it. So my plan is, <clears throat> there's netting here, and there's netting there. So this part here, I'm gonna basically take netting around the orange tree, and then just tie it off to one of the cross braces. So in this area, the uh, black netting will be quite a bit lower, but the birds will still be protected, but that's fine. Uh, just in this one spot is where it'll be lower. So I'm gonna get back to stapling down this uh, fence, and uh, then I'm gonna trim up uh, excess net. I'm gonna keep that in case I need it for the future. I intentionally bought this black netting too large. So it's good to have a little extra in case you need it. All right, so now we're at the stage of trying to put in a gate at the opening to the chicken run. So in order to do that, we're gonna put in um, a door. And the door has to be high enough so that the uh, fencing or this netting that we have here can be attached to the top of it. So we're gonna have to frame it out, you know, a big square and uh, basically build a doorway. So I started digging some holes And uh, it's really rocky soil, so I'm, I'm using a, uh, a little bit different tool to get down. I'm only going about a foot deep um, because it's just a gate. So basically, I'm going to dig it about a foot down. I'm going to put in some 4x4 four four posts and uh, put a little rapid set concrete in there to, uh, to hold everything in place. All right, here we are back down at the chicken coop again, and we are installing uh, just a, a handmade door today. We uh, put some posts in, uh, kind of made a frame, created a door, and we're going to be setting that into place today. So let's take a look at this uh, frame. I'll talk about it a little bit, and uh, it's real simple. Uh, again, this is chicken coop run door, so nothing too fancy. Okay, so we've got our uh, four by four posts set in to some concrete, dug down, set those in, cemented them in. And uh, you know, it's kind of a, an odd shape here. I wanted to put this four by four way closer to the corner of the building, but I couldn't. Um, this is existing structure and there was a lot of concrete uh, around the base of this and I wasn't gonna sit there and jackhammer it for days. So I decided to move the post out a little bit where I could actually set it in and dug down, got it in. Uh, you can see I still have the concrete forms on. Those are going to come out today. And uh, yeah, it's just four by four posts squared up, uh, cut off at the same height. And then I took a four by four post across the top. And the reason why I did that is because I had to have a place for the netting to attach. Um, so the netting uh, just needs to be trimmed off a little bit. And same thing with this side. Got four by four posts set into concrete. This side's a lot tighter to the uh, recycled, repurposed uh, old cyclone fence post. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna get a door up in here. And it shouldn't take too long. Just uh, squaring it in the hole, uh, setting in some screws, and uh, then having to Put in a put in a jam after I get the door all lined up and uh, kind of screwed in to see where the jam needs to be. So let's get it done. Okay, door is installed. 
We got the gaps. Uh, they're pretty good. Hardware's on, door latch. Everything's together. So we just got to add a little bit of fence right here to block this in and then uh, stitch something together over here. And that'll be it. And then the next step will be putting in the chicken door on the end of the building. All right, guys, this wraps up the uh, chicken run door, man door, to get into the chicken run. Uh, next up will be the uh, chicken coop door for the chickens to enter and exit. So stay tuned uh, on the next video for that. And until next time, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. See ya. Oh, man. Let me out. Oh, wait a minute. There we go.